Okay, let's solve this problem. Um, so we're gonna start from the equivalence point, our like imaginary equivalence point. And we need to find out some information about it. We need to know what is the concentration of our um, ammonium. So, and let's write this out. So, uh, so this was the work that we talked about to set it up. So when we are thinking about this NH4 plus and our water, We're gonna essentially create an ice table for this, but we're gonna need some information first. Like what is that initial concentration of ammonium? I know that we're gonna assume zero on our products, but to get to equilibrium, we gotta, we gotta start somewhere. And so to figure that out, we're going to use the information from the titration problem. So uh, we could figure out the number of moles that we actually use from this information right here. So to do that, I'm gonna take my uh, 0 0.0200 liters of my NH3. I'm gonna multiply it by my 0 0.102 moles per liter. And that's gonna give me a value of zero. 0.00204 moles of NH3 that was added, right? But now we're gonna do a one-to-one -one conversion because we know for every one mole of NH3 that is used in our titration, we're producing one mole of NH4. So this is times one mole NH4 plus divided by one mole NH3. Oh my goodness, it's the same number. Okay, so we know the moles, but we need the concentration for an ice table. So we need to know the total volume at the uh, equivalence point. Um, so we need to know how much of our acid we actually added. So we have its concentration. So let's take that 0 0.00204 moles of HNO3, because it'll be the same number of moles, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, and we'll multiply that by its 0 0.25, oh, divide by. So one liter divided by 0 0.025 moles. And that's gonna give us the volume of our acid that we actually added, which is going to be 0 0.00816 liters. Great. Okay. So we have a volume and we have a number of moles. Um, sorry, that's not the volume for the total. That's just uh, the volume for our HNO3. So we're going to add to that the volume of the ammonium that we added, which is at 20 milliliters, so 0 0.0200. And so we're going to have 0 0.02816 liters total. So we combine that number with the number of moles of NH4 that we have. And that's going to give us our concentration of NH4. So that's going to be, uh, so that concentration of NH4 plus initially will be equal to 0 0.00204 moles divided by 0 0.02816 liters, uh, which is going to give us a value of 0 0.0725 molar. Great. So we're going to put that here, actually. And now we have the beginning of an ice table we can use. Um, so when we're looking at this, uh, we're gonna go through it the way we do a normal weak acid um, ice table. We know that if we have no products, we're going to have uh, the reaction move to the product side to actually reach equilibrium. So we'll be subtracting X from our reactants and adding it to our products. Uh, so we'll have an equilibrium concentration of ammonium of 0 0.0725 molar minus X. 
a concentration of ammonia of X and of hydronium ion of X. So our Ka is gonna be equal to the concentration of our products divided by our reactants, not including our solvent water. And we're given that, uh, so back here, we're given that Ka value, right? of 5.8 times 10 to the negative 10. So we can plug that in 5.8 times 10 to the negative 10. Uh, and we can plug in our equilibrium values. So we'll have X squared divided by 0 0.0725 minus X. And now we need to solve for X. Um, so I'm gonna do a lot of rearranging and get to something that looks like zero is equal to negative x squared minus 5.8 times 10 to the negative 10 x plus 4.2, oops, 0, 7, 6, 8 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay, not done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the quadratic which again, that's gonna be solving for X as negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all divided by two A. I will spare you me plugging this into my calculator. Um, and I'm gonna get a value that's reasonable. I get a negative value for X and a positive value for X and the positive value is the only one that makes sense um, of 6.4867. times 10 to the negative six. Whew, okay, so still going. Uh, that X value, right? That is going to be We need our H3O plus concentration at equilibrium. That will give us the pH of our solution. And so, Uh, this is going to be equal to H3O plus. Our pH is going to be equal to the negative log of H3O plus. So this will be equal to the negative log of 6.48637 times 10 to the negative 6. Plugging that into our calculator, we get a pH equal to 5.19. And that is the pH that we expect uh, at equilibrium. And so we need to choose an indicator that has an endpoint around pH five. So let's take a look again at um, our set of pHs. I'm gonna erase this piece here. Uh, and we are gonna go look for something around pH 5.1, but I mean like how picky can we really be here, right? And so looking at that, two options come to mind. It looks like it, the best ones for us are going to be bromosacral, so that's a word, green or methyl red. And we're either going to be looking for the bromocycle green going from green to finally being dark blue, or we're going to look for that red becoming orange. So right when the red becomes orangish on the methyl red, we would be hitting the end point for methyl red. And that would be at the same point as our equivalence point. I think if I was going to choose one, I'd choose methyl red um, because I think that red to yellow, that orange might be easier to find.